Hello and welcome back to this YouTube channel, placing the welcoming mint of criticism on the crisply laundered hotel pillow of cinema. And there's no doubt about what the film of the week is, or maybe even the film of the year. It's Tar from Todd Field, starring the incomparable Kate Blanchett as Lydia Tar, a mercurial orchestra conductor heading for a creative breakthrough or breakdown. How's the writing going? Not so well. I keep hearing something. Schopenhauer measured a man's intelligence against his sensitivity to noise. Do you ever find yourself overwhelmed by emotion? Yes. Yes, it does happen. Lydia Tarr is imagined to be the principal conductor of the Berlin Philharmonic, unironically addressed by all colleagues as maestro. She is passionate, demanding, autocratic, with a rock star prestige and an international touring lifestyle approaching that of the super rich, and is married to her first violinist, played by Nina Hoss, with whom she has a child. There are problems in Tarr's life. She runs a mentoring scholarship programme for women, administered by a tiresome, oleaginous, would-be conductor, played by Mark Strong. And there are rumours that this is a source of young women with whom Tarr has affairs. She emotionally abuses her assistant, played by Noemi Merlon, and is being stalked by another former mentee who's become obsessed with her. Meanwhile, her guest masterclass at Juilliard goes sour when a young student, identifying as BIPOC pangender, presumes to dismiss Bach on ideal logical grounds. Tar humiliates this young Gen Z, but the movie is not about anything as banal as cancellation. No one but Kate Blanchett could have delivered the imperious auteur necessary for portraying the great musician heading for a crack-up or a creative epiphany. No one but Blanchett has the right way of wearing a two-piece black suit with an open neck white shirt, the way of shaking her hair loose at moments of abandon, the way of letting her face become a Tutankhamun mask of contempt. Tar suspects that there is something wrong. She is twitchy, paranoid, insomniac, hypersensitive to noise. We know from the outset that she is effectively being spied on. There are strange sounds, intrusions and things out of place. And the music itself amplifies the violence just beneath the surface. It could be that Todd Field, as a director, has fallen under the spell of the maestro himself, Austrian filmmaker Michael Haneke, with the refrigerated sleekness of his film's look and the ideas about revenge surveillance, the return of the repressed, and the tyranny and cruelty in the classical music tradition. Tar has a job in which hubris arguably comes with the territory. Like a field marshal, she has a bat on. When critics say that a film is mesmeric, they often just mean slow, art house, and boring. But this is mesmeric and electrifying. My second viewing made me notice how part of Tar's loss of control is due to her intense reaction to Elgar's cello concerto, which she wants to perform with a protege. The extravagance and even derangement of that music, it resonates with her and with us. So that's it. Please give this vlog a like and a share on social media. And please, oh please, join the honour roll of people who do the right thing in their lives and subscribe to this channel and leave a passionately supportive comment to say that you've done so. And also, because there's no such thing as free content, please buy my book, The Films That Made Me, an edited selection of my essays and reviews from The Guardian. Until next time.